Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habatifillah The question was asked, Assalamu alaikum, I watch your video on takfiris. Here's the question. When someone is opposed to the sunnah and is replacing laws from Allah and enforcing them on his people and is following his desires, doesn't he fall under the, uh, this verse listed below? Sheikh bin Uthameen said it does. There's a video called Sheikh bin Uthameen, the disbelief of one who rules by other than Allah's book. Uh, Allah's law, look it up for yourself. And then he brings uh, a lot of other things. Uh, again, we've spoken extensively on this and more than we even like to engage the people and busy the people with us because honestly, you living in the UK and America needed to know what's going on in Egypt or know the ruling of the Libyan uh, militia leaders uh, and his position with the Shara. Yeah, pretty much has no benefit and no benefit and no impact on your life. Uh, and so that's, that's the first point. The second point is it's been detailed and translated extensively these Masail, going way beyond Imam bin Uthameen, Rahmatullahi. And again, I don't even have time. I'm not going to waste my time because I've spent years dealing with this issue. My master's thesis is about this. And in my master's thesis, I have plenty of statements of Ben Uthameen himself, Imam al Albani, uh, Imam bin Baz. Imam bin Baz mentioned some beautiful uh, tafsil and details about this issue. But before these Imams, we have a Salaf. Okay, we can go back, go back to Ibn Abbas. And that, that statement, if you can't deal with the Kufr, don't a Kufr, and you don't want to go to the Tafsir or Tabari and stuff like that, I can't really, there's nothing I can say to you. Because there it's explicit. Now, if you know Arabic, and I'm, I'm not sure if you do, but you've given me some transliteration here. If you know Arabic, go to Arabic first. I mean, go to uh, Tabari first. Go to the Tafsir first. You know, go to the Tafsir of the Ayat and look at the taf Tafasir. Look at the Mufassirin, what they say about this, these Ayat. And you'll find that Ibn Abbas and many of the Salaf, the Tabi'in, they uh, had, had the, uh, the call similar to that. That plain and simple... Following the desires is, you know, when, when anyone does a, a disobedience, say if you watch something haram on TV, or you implement something in your home or whatever, does this perhaps follow under that? You've went and disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is disobedience and perhaps can be a type of rulership. It can fall into a type of rulership, maybe how you implement something in your home or whatever the case may be. So do we say make takfir of you for this? For your desires, you're drinking alcohol, you know it's Muharram, and you keep drinking it. You're watching porn, you know it's haram, and you keep watching over and over, night after night. Does this take you out of the fold of Islam? Is this istihlal? No, it isn't. And uh, if you want to feel about that, again, I mentioned this, all this in the video, so I'm not going to, you know, in all the videos, I have about four or five videos that I spent Time, going back to some of the text, talking about it. If you want to listen, listen. If you don't, it's up to you. If you want to research the issue, go research it. But plain and simple, no. Following your desires, that is not going to take you out of the fold of Islam like that. Now, if you are, again, istihlal is one of those ways. If they believe. So this is an issue of itiqad there. It's not just the issue of doing the ma'asi, the sin of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. Because this is an act of ma'asi. And it's a type of kufr. It's the lesser kufr and it's asl. But there are times when, of course, when it comes to the takfir ma'ayin, talking about a specific individual, then you apply those dawabit and you look at the individual themselves. You know, are they making it lawful? Uh, do they believe that the shara is equal to, you know, democracy or whatever the case may be, or the other system is better than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah's law, and so on and so forth. Detailed, detailed messiah. Detailed Masail. That's why I don't even like to really deal with those issues anymore. You know, it's not really, you know, but so many of the youth, they're really caught up. But I would just say, go go to those tafsil. If you know Arabic, then, you know, you, you can go to the sources. You know, go go to the sources. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us success. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.